Gout is a common, painful form of arthritis. It causes swollen, red, hot, and stiff joints. Gout is caused by increased production of uric acid. Uric acid crystals travel and accumulate in the joints, especially in the feet and legs, causing great pain and swelling. Ouch! Gotcha! Hey, although often the pump, it's a protective mechanism that alerts us to potential or actual harm to the body tissues. Here, the peripheral nervous system sent a pain message to the brain that a bee sting occurred on the nose. Let's take a look at it. Glaucoma is unhealthy pressure inside the eye. Untreated, it can damage the optic nerve, causing vision loss and blindness. Before we talk about how kidney stones are formed, take a moment to become familiar with the urinary tract. The urinary tract includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Now let's enlarge the kidney to get a closer view. Here's a cross-section of the kidney. Urine flows from the outer cortex to the inner medulla. The renal pelvis is the funnel through which urine exits the kidney and enters the ureter. As urine passes through the kidneys, it can become very concentrated. When the urine becomes too concentrated, Calcium, uric acid salts, and other chemicals dissolved in the urine can crystallize, forming a kidney stone or renal calculus. Usually, the calculus is the size of a small pebble. But ureters are very sensitive to being stretched, and when stones form and distend it, the stretching can be very painful. Often, people may not know they have kidney stones until they feel the painful symptoms resulting from a stone being stuck anywhere in the track. Fortunately, small stones typically pass out of the kidneys and through the ureters on their own without causing any problems. However, stones can become more problematic when they block the flow of urine. Doctors call this one a staghorn kidney stone, and it is obstructing the entire kidney. Fortunately, these stones are the exception rather than the rule.